you know, it's time again for car chat. Hope everybody's having an excellent day. I am having a fantastic day. Um, things are going uh, marvelous. Uh, I hope you all are having uh, have as many uh, trials and overcome as those trials as I have in my own life. That said, what are we going to talk about today? We are going to talk about the trade. The bigotry and the misogyny and the uh, sexism that's in this trade, which none of it is. There's very little of it. There's every every group of people have you know similar characteristics. Everybody has you know uh, the loud mouse me. People that take advantage of others, people that are, you know, uh, uh, mean, bad attitudes, whatever the case may be. Like, you're just not going to escape that. It's in every group that there is. So, once you understand that, that part of the issues that you may ex be experiencing as a young person or as a young woman in this trade. Don't have anything to do with the trade. It has everything to do with human nature and the people that you're with. So, I mean, I guess for your own uh, sanity, find a new group of people. That would be my suggestion. But I find it fascinating that 90%, and this is my lived experience, okay? Like, I'm not just shooting off the hip and shooting my mouth off. But 90% 90 of the 2%, because women make up about 2% of the train, 90% of those young women, and I do mean young, are between the ages of 20 and 30. When I was coming into the trade, uh, it was called the young man's game. Now we have to call it the young person's game, whatever. For mine, own personal experiences <clears throat> because the trade life is difficult and hard on your body and despite the innovations and the technologies that have made this trade ever more accessible to those that may not have the physical prowess, prowess to uh, fully engage in it it's certain, those innovations and technologies have opened the door to a far wider array of people, which is great, and I applaud and think it's wonderful. But every single woman that I know, and it's not two or three, like it's dozens of them, uh, has either quit the trade entirely, moved into sales, moved into wholesale, which is sales, because it's a division of sales, and, or moved into training and some sort of rep. Every single one. And I, I would love to see uh, a 50-year-old woman in the trade actively doing the work. I mean, that is a rare bird indeed, if that actually exists. And do those facts mean I'm bigoted or misogynistic? No, it doesn't. It's just a simply a statement of the physical rigors that the trade brings into it. And I, again, I've said this on a couple things. I, I will eat my hat if there is uh, a woman that has been in the trades for a decade or longer uh, that's over the age of uh, thir between 38 and 42. I, I would be sh I'm, I would be shocked if there's someone like that. 
that is actively, like actively, putting in, you know, eight hours a day, every day, getting the work done. They just don't exist, man. They just don't. So, what's, I don't, I mean, I don't know exactly what the point of that is, other than to say, we talk about we need women in the trades, and that's fine. I, I don't disagree with that. But we are looking for skilled trades people. That's it. If you have, if you can do it, then come on board. If you can't do it, then do something else. Right? What what's that old saying? Right? Those that can do. Those that can't teach. And I said that to I said that to every one of my teachers when I was an apprentice in school, and and, and they laughed it off. I said, "Yeah, well, it's an easier life. I, you know, I'm indoors all the time. I'm not out in minus 42 trying to fix stuff. So, you know, I do I do find it interesting that." You know, a woman in the trade makes some sort of post, so particularly if she's claiming, you know, to be se or claiming sexism on some level. But there's like, like 65 comments from dudes. You know, you got this, we got you. You can do it. It shouldn't exist, dude. It exists everywhere. It's not a trade thing. It's a human nature thing. People are dicks. Just. You, instead of you just need to learn to deal with it I think I, I said it this morning uh, you know you need broad shoulders and thick skin to be in this trade because people will bruise your ego your own uh, fellow uh, trades people the people that you work for I mean it's just it's just a gauntlet and again that is not trade specific it's everywhere you go. You want to be a doctor? My goodness. Right? And I do think that the DEI, the diversity, equality, inclusion, is absolute bullshit. Should we provide... We should absolutely provide opportunities for training. But we should not change the, uh, the bar for people that can't meet the minimum standards. That is a disservice and dishonest, as far as I'm concerned. The day that I can no longer do my job, I should quit. Which is why most women don't make it past 30. There's a couple of them out there, but you'll notice uh, that they move into some sort of uh, into some sort of maintenance thing. They change filters and belts. Uh, they move into some education thing, uh, you know, or they advocate uh, for more women in the trades. Again, none of that what I just said should be taken as bigotry or misogyny. That's just what they do, and that's great. They can take some of that experience and and turn it into something positive. Like I said, whatever previous one. Like the people that you listen to uh, on a, it's the NFL playoffs, so let's use that. I mean, those panels of experts are made up by ex-players, people that have played the game, that have been in those situations, that can relate to what's going on. And then you have, you know, your professional broadcaster that sort of makes sure everybody stays on track. But there's one of, there's one of that dude, and then there's anywhere from two to three to four to five to six professional athletes all chiming in with their with their opinions on stuff. So I don't really know you know how to fix that. I mean you can't fix that. It just needs to become like a oh man, it's almost ten minutes already. Uh, it just needs to become sort of part of your compass as you navigate your way through this world. Those are my thoughts, not yours. Have an excellent day.